Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome, welcome to Jim's 5am club and it's Saturday morning as you can see it's still, it's overcast and it's a, a brilliant day, a brilliant start to the weekend, it's grand final weekend. My tip is for the storm to win and to have that fairy tale finish to the season but uh, time will tell. We'll see how we go. And um, let's go on a walk and talk and have a chat about a topic that I've got near and dear to my heart. And uh, I love being down here at Circular Quay. Just something about Circular Quay which is, uh, just soothes, soothes my senses, makes me feel good. Got a couple of girls coming through here on their morning jog, chatting away, sharing stories. And we can see the, uh, the beautiful jacarandas here in full blossom. As I said, I can't wait. Can't wait to go to Kiribilli and do a 5 a.m. club uh, on that beautiful street with all the jacarandas. Anyway, let's, uh, let's kick off with today's uh, topic, a topic which I've got near and dear to my heart. And uh, what I thought I'd talk about today is um, is a, uh, a topic that I picked up from a book that I've just read, a book summary um, called The Like Switch by uh, Jack Schaefer. And um, he basically talks about um, a thing which happens to people. Um, and I've forgotten the word. It's, um, let me just have a look at my notes. I don't normally refer to notes, but uh, sometimes it's important to, uh, to pick up and remember what you're talking about. And I've got it here. So it's, uh, it's called misattribution. Misattribution. And it's a psychological term. And basically what it says is... Uh, it's a psychological situation where you feel something and you attribute it to something but it's incorrectly attributed to that thing and let me try and explain it to you from a from let's, let's just use an, an example of love and what they're saying is that people who are in situations where they uh, are excited or aroused be it they've gone to a fun park and ridden the wild mouse, for example. And I remember doing this with my girlfriend, Paula, who's now my wife. What happens is you go to a fun park and, uh, and Paula's scared of, of those sorts of things. But we went on the, uh, on the wild mouse, even though she was you know, saying she didn't want to go on it, I convinced her to go on it. But you take that ride, you take that ride, and all of a sudden, the senses are, are fully aroused and, and heightened. And, uh, and then what happens is the brain gets confused and it doesn't know what has caused those um, aroused feelings, those aroused senses, and it misattributes it to, um, to the person, potentially who you're with and that way you can get a knock-on effect by uh, by being in the right place at the right time and uh, you know you you get those those surging endorphins and things rushing through your body and then those conflicting signals uh, are misinterpreted or, or can't be correctly interpreted by the brain so the brain uh, just uh, submits to whatever meaning you want to put to it. So I guess the lesson there for young people is, uh, you know, um, if, you, uh, if you're with a woman or with people that you, uh, you love keeping company with, um, it's, it's important to, uh, to be in situations where um, the senses can be heightened through laughter, through music, through dance. 
and uh, through it, for it, any other technique. And what happens is that those those uh, those heightened feelings can be uh, can be translated into into potential relationships. And that's why you have, and as we said, being in the right place at the right time. That's why you have uh, situations where dormant. Dorm, a doorman at a, a nightclub, even if he's, if he's the ugliest guy in the world, you know, can uh, can be uh, can be can get lucky with the pretty ladies, because as they're leaving the nightclub, they're on a high. They've had a big night, had a bit a bit to drink. They've been dancing. They've been laughing. They've been having the time of their life with their girlfriends, and all of a sudden, they're heading home. They're feeling a bit lonely. And there you go, the last person they see is a doorman. And uh, bingo, jackpot, the doorman gets the prize. It all also seems to happen with people with, uh, with uh, hire cars. I, I've been working with a guy with uh, a hire car business or was a hire car driver. And uh, I was screaming, absolutely screaming with laughter with some of the stories that he was telling me about uh, the hanky-panky that the drivers would get up to. But uh, as we said, you know, it's uh, being in the right place at the right time. Um, and it's all about this concept of misattribution, where the body and the mind gets confused in terms of uh, um, having a high, having good feelings, and then all of a sudden, uh, feeling romantic, and uh, you know, and the person who's uh, in close proximity tends to get associated with those heightened feelings, um, rightly or wrongly, and then um, the rest is history. So, uh, how do we use this? I guess. Uh, and it's been used a lot in the past as well, you know. You, you see over time, um, like the business lunch, the Christmas parties. Um, it's it's important that if you're tr if you're in business, or if you're trying to influence somebody, if you're trying to uh, create some magic with uh, and find new love in your life, it's important to be able to hang out at places or to be involved in events which create excitement because that excitement when it goes off you know you'll often hear people say saying it went off it went off when people are just on a high just dancing carrying on and, uh, and I've been to these events as a uni student when I was a young bloke and I still remember them I still remember the people I was with the girls and uh, how easy it was to, uh, to be relaxed and to, and to enjoy that moment. And dare I say, you know, a lot of relationships have kicked off based on uh, being at the right place at the right time. Um, dare I say, a lot of people would have said they would have wished, to <laughs> they would have wished to have been somewhere else um, because the relationship didn't last the distance, but uh, n n never, th never mind that. At the end of the day, it happened. But uh, it's a, it's a, it's it's a good one. It's a good one to have at the back of your mind. It's a good one to understand that friendships sometimes happen, or in many cases happen, based on misattribution, where. Um, where you've uh, just been caught up in the moment. And it happens to us as, as well when we're overseas. You know, the summer lovers. You know, you're in Mykonos, you're in Santorini, you're on a Greek island, you're on a cruise, wherever you are. And you're, you know, you're relaxed, you're on a high, and before you know it, you know, you're, you're in love. Um, and, it, and, that's, and that's the way it happens. Anyway, we've got the Queenslift here, just kicking off, making its way to Manly, starting its morning journey. 
So uh, thank you once again for joining me on Jim's 5am Club. And as we said, the objective is to go for a casual walk and talk, to chat about things, to, uh, to share experiences, to share book summaries, to share ideas, to try and help us all grow and develop and be on the same page and learn, and learn from uh, OPE other people's experience so uh, thank you thank you for joining me on this journey I'm slowly clicking away and heading closer and closer to my goal of a thousand vlogs uh, for this year in English and maybe over the next couple of years a thousand and one in Greek but COVID will need to lift and I do want to go to Greece and do a number of vlogs whilst I'm travelling around and uh, enjoying myself with my family. So uh, let's finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel absolutely great. Um, to my friends and family, stay connected, stay relevant, and most importantly, try and uh, find yourself in the right place, in the right time, and of course with the right person uh, on, uh, on Monday. In two days time I get to celebrate my 35th winning anniversary. Under normal circumstances I would have taken my, uh, my wife Paula to Hawaii and we would have gone to the Royal Hawaiian Hotel and uh, I would have booked the same room that we had 35 years ago when we celebrated our honeymoon. But alas it's not going to be this year, maybe next year. But, uh, or the year after, who knows when this travel ban is, uh, is raised. But uh, take care to everybody, enjoy your Saturday uh, and make the most of it. May it be productive as possible, as memorable as possible. And let's not forget, a day like today will never ever come back. So uh, make the most of your today with your friends and family and uh, Make sure that you're in a place where you either have heightened um, endorphins and all your senses are on a high so you can make the most of your friendships and making new friendships. And remember the power of, uh, of that uh, term we talked about, uh, the, mis the misattribution, misattribution and to uh, understand how it all works and to uh, yeah, make the most of it. Make the most of your life and most, make the most of the situations that you're in and, uh, and be in control. Be in control of your life as best you can or release the handbrake and just let go of all control and just enjoy the, the ride. Yasas from Jim and I look forward to chatting to you again tomorrow from another place on Jim's 5am club. Bye for now. Yasas.